Why, hello again, everyone. This is the inspector back with you for another shave. Um, happy Saturday to you. Hope you guys had a great St. Patrick's Day. Um, as you can see, it's been uh, a week since my last shave. Was meaning to do a, um, a video midweek, but you know, guys, things happened and time got away from me. So here we are today. Okay, um, let's start uh, with always something new in a den. We have a lot on the queue here, but um, just this past week, got a new razor, and from I got it from Maggard's, and it's called the Pearl Hammer, as you can see here. Okay, it comes in a very nice box. Um, you know, different from other pearls that I've gotten that are just in a cardboard box. So, uh, presentation is rather nice here. Um, before we talk about the razor itself, I want to talk what it comes with inside the box here. Polishing cloth, okay. We have um, a shaving guide, all right. Oops. We get this. We have a thank you card. Okay. Uh, we have washers. Okay, to go uh, between where you screw in the base plate. All right. It's pretty cool. Um, ten pack of Super Max blades. Okay, I won't be using these. I'll I'll probably give this away to somebody. But um, it comes with ten a ten pack. So. Uh, that's a sort of a cool extra bonus thing, okay? And it comes with uh, two plates. I have already loaded up with third use uh, strange lip blade from PAA, okay, third and final use. Um, here it is, and uh, I have the close comb in here, okay? You can see the the blade gap and here not not crazy okay look forward to being mild shape and it also comes with an open comb plate okay so you get two razors in one 44 bucks okay um, for the razor itself I was surprised how hefty it is this is brass okay coated brass looks like a uh, on the satin finish here um, Looks quite nice. Finish is really, really good on it, you know? So, um, that being said, I'll put this aside. Um, we're gonna be using for cream. I've had this for a while, haven't used it yet. Uh, thought I'd use it today. A&E KE2 Cream Par Paris, or art, Street Art Series. Paris, okay? You can see the artwork on that. Um, we'll check out how good this cream is. Um, I think it's going to be quite good coming from A&E. And uh, we're going to be using our Ariana and Evans synthetic brush. And for a bowl, our HCNC stainless steel with the rounded edge. Excellent, my favorite bowl. Okay, so uh, we're also going to be doing, after the face shave, we're going to be doing a quick head shave with my Gillette Guard that has been on my razor mate, pulling those that blade back in line. And uh, so we're going to first use on this, uh, this uh, Paris cream here from A&E. So we're going to, Put some in, in the bowl. I want to make sure I have enough for um, my head shave too. Okay, so we'll put that in there. And I put actually quite a lot in here. All right. So um, already cleaned out our face and our head. Okay, with some good artisan soap. What I'll do is, uh, like always. Put some moisture in the brush, 
shake it out, work this into a paste, and then we'll add water as necessary, okay? And being a cream, right away, we have that, okay? This is exactly what I want, so I'll just put some more water in here. Um, haven't used a, a cream in a while from Ariana and Evan, so we'll see how it goes here with the, the water. Nice scent. Uh, it has like a cologne scent type. That's the only way I can really... Fresh, nice, okay. I don't know, um, I haven't checked if he's still selling this, this cream, but um, looks like it's gonna be good, okay. So just adding a couple of more drops here to, uh, yeah, we're getting, all right, so we're good here. We got plenty in the brush. Uh, let's wet the face. Bring it, um, bring the cream to the face and start the shave because uh, uh, this is starting to itch me after a week. I want to get this off, okay? Stay tuned. Okay, guys, let's dry the hands here. Now, I saw a, a, um, the first video review a couple of days ago from Mark Zorority, and with this razor, 5.2 ounces, very hefty, lay it on your face, okay, and just let the razor do the work, especially for a heavy razor like this, okay? You really do have to keep that in mind, guys. All right, let's bring the, the cream to the face here. Very nice, yeah. Oop. Some lather went flying. Feels good, it smells great. Um, all right, it's good. We'll uh, heat up the razor, get that razor blade hot, or at least nice and warm, okay? All right, first pass with the grain, here we go. Like I said, just lay it on the face, no pressure, okay? So far, really smooth okay with this first pass we'll get 90% of it off Yeah, nice. Very nice. I have another pearl razor coming. The one with the two handles. Um, why am I drawing a blank and to what it what it is, to what it's called, but And uh, so, like I said, guys, I have such a, <laughs> I'm bagged up on new products here. Um, uh, my good friend CDB, Chris Bailey, just sent me some razors. Thank you, Chris, more than I was ever expecting. 
okay? So, I hope to hear from Chris this weekend. Um, last check, he was doing well. For those of you who know Chris, This is where I gotta keep a really light touch, guys. Because if you're not careful, you can get away from you, okay? Um, Here, this uh, this razor sort of reminds me of the uh, the uh, Durrell uh, Cheetle Eight uh, Slant Razor in half. Okay, um. Well, for me, as I'm shaving, this to me is a, uh, a medium aggressive razor. A little bit more um, aggressive than I first thought it would be, but very efficient. Very efficient. Wow. Wow. Feeling the weight on this, guys. Yeah, this is uh, hefty. This is uh, shaving really well. Um, probably not in my wheelhouse for as far as the weight goes. Okay, but. I'm gonna go. A little bit across the grain here. Okay. Remember guys, whatever you do with this razor, don't press, okay? Because there's no need to. You're not gonna get any closer shave by pressing. You're just gonna injure yourself, okay? All right, first pass done, we'll uh, rinse the face. Okay, and I can tell you guys, um, so far this is uh, an incredibly efficient razor. Good first pass, um, you know? So, now if you're not up for heavy razors, you know, if that's not your thing, this may not be for you. But uh, as far as the shave goes so far, 
it's really uh, it's really doing well. Okay, so on that front, all right. So uh, here we are with second pass against the grain for me. So I'm coming across for against the grain. Been seeing uh, razors that uh, are offering two plates now. I mean, I don't know if it's by coincidence or because uh, PEA has the quantum and that comes in two base plates. This one too. Uh, I don't know if it's a trend or not, you know. Um, if any of you guys have any more information on what other razors come in two plates um, as of late, yeah, comment below, okay? Please, don't be shy, guys. Uh, I do appreciate you guys uh, that have commented always, you know? I really appreciate your Particip participation as I <laughs> in uh, my videos and in the hobby in general okay Yeah, and I, like I said, just lay it on my face and just uh, let it roll, okay? Let it roll. Yeah, I don't. Guys, I don't like letting my face go for a week without shaving, and uh, but things happen. But when you finally do get to shave, you get an extra close one, you know. Okay. Yeah, very efficient. For sure. Okay. Yeah. Very smooth. And, uh, yeah. Like I said, the only thing is that a real downside for me is the weight. And I didn't do much research on that, but Okay, see how it does here. Wanna 
come across at the very bottom here because my hair grows in a different direction, okay? Get those little hairs there. Okay. Okay, got a little weeper going there, but. All right, we'll uh, rinse the face here. Okay, guys, uh, let's see here. A little touch up underneath. to the towel. Okay, now we'll, uh, let's see, yeah. We'll get up the Allen block because I wanna take care of that weeper, weepers. Okay, so wet it. Um, Usually, this is where I get weepers here. All right. All right, so we'll rinse that, as always. Make sure you dry it, okay? And I'll leave the cap open on the case for a good day, just to make sure. Okay. And, uh, yeah, it's my razor rock out on block here with the PAA band on it. I saved that from the other Allen block. All right. So we got that. Uh, now we could, we'll rinse off. We'll wet the head again and do a head shave, quick head shave. Yeah, slickness on this cream is excellent, excellent. Okay. I gather up the cream here and uh, Lay it on. Okay. Get my Gillette guard. Pick that up and we'll do a front to back. Okay. It's been uh, probably two or three days since my last head shave, so we're due. Okay. We're due. Yeah, the, uh, for those of you who use a cart razor or a razor like this, the Gillette Guard, um, been using the razor mate on it. If you didn't see my review, uh, it's there, okay? And uh, appears to be doing the job with the magnets, realigning the blade, okay? 
Um, like I said, I'm going on like four weeks, I think, or something like that with, uh, with the same razor head on here. And, uh, showing no signs of flagging so far. So, you know, um, depending on what you use for, you know, head shaves or whatever. All right, rinse that off. Do the side here. Yeah, it still feels sharp. So, you know, these things do work, guys. I think, you know, that's why I did a review on it. So, check it out if you're so inclined. Okay. Okay. Let's rinse this out here. Okay, with hot water. Here we go. I'm gonna dry it, pat it dry. All I do is put it here, okay? Put it right on the Razor Mate magnet strip, okay? All right, so a little rinse. Still, after the yellow block, still have a little bit of that weeper going. So, this is where you bring out the styptic pencil, P node, club, and then the jumbo one. I like the jumbo um, styptic pencil. Okay, under hot water a little bit there, and then just. Okay, that should, that should do it really. Okay, we'll do the same thing. Rinse it off, dry it completely. And uh, I'm gonna put it back in the tube, but I won't put the cap on, okay, for another 24 hours. All right. So we've done that. Looks like it's sealed up really nicely. Just rinse that off. Okay, final thing. Let's not ignore the post shave, guys. Okay. At a minimum, I use theirs. Okay, after I come out of the shower, I may put a bomb on. Okay. Um... This, give this a good dousing. Okay. Great stuff. There's. Okay, we'll let that settle in. Okay. Uh, we'll be using some sort of aftershave after I come out of the shower, but let's review what we've done today. Okay. Uh, the Pearl Hammer. Okay. Uh, excellent shaving razor, a medium aggressive razor, not as mild as I, I originally thought, but very efficient. Uh, 5.2 ounces, guys, maybe a little bit too heavy for me, but if you like heavy razors, uh, good quality, everything else, 44 bucks. I got it at Maggers or maybe other places you may get it, um, but uh, good quality stuff. Comes with the open comb plate, instruction guide, washers, uh, 10 pack of blades if you like them. That's cool. But uh, overall, I think a really good value, okay, for that money. 
all right? Um, so we also went with uh, Paris KE2 Cream by a &E, Street Art Series. Uh, very slick, very good. Um, yeah, not, not a bad thing to say about this, all right? Along with the fabulous a &E Synthetic Brush. Uh, just classic candle design, uh, little Art Deco maybe-ish, very nice though. Uh, HCNC stainless steel bowl. We did the head shave with the Gillette Guard. And that's it, guys. Um, thank you for joining me. Hope to see you soon. And uh, take care of yourselves. This has been the Inspector signing out. Bye.